Hello everyone, and welcome back to XCOM 2 with Terry. Last episode, things didn't quite go as planned. <laughs> and uh, I may have triggered one or, one or two of the more experienced players in the comment section with uh, my blunderings. But uh, yeah, uh, I have learned that the flashbang grenade is apparently very, very useful. And um, also that I sh uh, should probably not be as aggressive as I was. I'm, I am usually rather cautious in my approach, but you know, it's it's one of those. It was one of those rescue the civilians missions because obviously civilians cannot be expected to, uh, when seeing a dangerous alien murdering people left, right, and center, to get up and run away. <laughs> but they need the military to come around and tell them to do so. So. Um, and that's why I was a bit more aggressive and, um, well, let's just say that uh, Jane has learned something as well, which is that uh, once the safety pin is gone, Mr. Grenade is no longer your friend. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we'll, we'll put that all behind us and and see that we can see that we can continue. I think uh, we've, we've currently got somebody, somebody's injured. Um, yeah, Julie got injured during the whole ordeal, and uh, a lot of my crew is tired. So uh, I really need to I really need to get some of the uh, some of the new recruits. Uh, well, with all that's been going on, we've never really had time to consider the possibility. But I have to believe Valen is still out there somewhere. She wasn't the type to let the collapse of XCOM stop her research. Yeah, Dr. Wallen wouldn't have stopped her research for anything. So, uh, yeah, we, we do need to, we definitely need to get some of our, we, we need to get some more soldiers, I think, because uh, we don't have all that many. So maybe that's a, that's a good thing we, we're going to start. Uh, how expensive is it to recruit? Oh, we actually get to see who we're recruiting. Um, okay. So that's interesting. And it costs 25 supplies and we get them instantly. Uh, okay, so we can get ourselves some new soldiers. Does it say anything other than where they're from? Uh, <laughs> it, it gives them a bit of a backstory, but that's about it, really. So, mm, does it make any difference? Or can I literally just... Um, I can I literally just just hire someone? Uh, we only had one German. Shall we get another German? There's Dieter Lange. I mean, I'm gonna have to do something about his his fashion choices, but um, he took a particularly brutal approach to resist Advent's occupation, waging a campaign of grenade attacks against urban centers and key infrastructure. Um, okay. All right. So he he sounds angry. <laughs> we get ourselves another angry German. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's let's recruit Dieter. Okay, and Dieter has been recruited, and uh, we are definitely going to have to do something about his fashion choice because uh, you're not going to walk around with uh, with a bag on your head when you when you're in here. So give me a second, I'll sort that out. Okay, that should do it. So, uh, sorry, that wasn't a bag. It, it, I couldn't see it in the small picture, but that was actually a scarf. So he might have picked that up um, somewhere in the Middle East, I presume. I don't know where that's from, but uh, uh, I, I found a more fitting headdress for him. <laughs> he is now wearing a World War One style helmet. So, and he's he's he looks he looks sufficiently angry. <laughs> and he's carrying a cigarette around. Yep, uh, I, I am. I am happy with that. So that's Dita, and Dita is going to be our new recruit. So that's that. Okay. Uh, right then, what were we at? What were we doing? Uh, I can't remember. It's been a long time. What's Doctor Tigan researching? Um, Work is well underway, Commander. He is infirmary construction. Is what he is researching. Okay. Working at the Advent Clinics. I saw medical breakthroughs that would have been considered nothing short of miraculous at any time before the aliens' arrival. 
the elderly and infirm so revitalized with a single treatment that they were often brought to tears. It's a powerful, powerful thing the aliens have developed. Perhaps their most insidious creation of all. For my part in it, I remain deeply conflicted. Okay, so the aliens have uh, brought some form of gene therapy to us, I guess. But yeah, not, not everything. <laughs> Be careful who's bringing gifts here. Anyway, we're clearing alien debris. We're still building that guerrilla tactics school, which gives us more um, gives us more people. And we're building the resistance ring. Now, I am low on supplies, so I am going to have to start looking for some more. Now that we've finally got this place up and running, we should be able to access some of these dormant alien systems. Let's see if you two can play nice. <laughs> Getting some kind of interference up here. Seems to be hitting us across the board. Working on it. Something triggered your remote uplink. But how is that possible? No one knows these systems. Jen, power readings just spiked. What the hell is going on down there? Commander, I'm too old to start believing in ghosts, which means someone had to access that unit remotely. If they can access Rover, there's no telling what else they might be able to do. I strongly suggest we make investigating that signal our top priority. Okay, so things just went from interesting to really interesting. So uh, Dr. Shen Sr. appears to be still alive because uh, he managed to access... Uh, our Dr. Shen's, uh, whatever that thing is, Gremlin? I think that's what it was called. Like the, the flying little drone thingamajig, her, her drone pet thing. And uh, okay, so that is certainly interesting. And I mean, I, I, I trust, I trust, uh, I trust her that this was really her, her father, but maybe, I mean, I've been under control of the aliens. If he's still alive, and literally Dr. Tigan lit just told us that. Um, that the aliens developed this gene therapy to extend the life or severely improve uh, or maybe even reverse aging process. So it's entirely possible that he's been maybe captured and is working f working with the elders. So I, I agree with Central here. This is something we definitely should be figuring out. Okay then. But we still need more supplies as well. And, and half my crew is in, in Commander, is tired. you should establish contact with the local resistance network as soon as possible. The aliens are undoubtedly moving forward with their plans. Looks like Shen was able to confirm the signal's origin. Inputting the coordinates on the map now. Okay. Um, someone went to a lot of trouble to get the signal th through to Rover. We need to find out why. Uh... <laughs> And a mis mysterious man is also wanting us to make more resistance contacts, which I agree with because I'm going to need more supplies and I still have to buy that grenade. So um, let's do that first so I don't forget it. The cooperation of these extremists will do little to unite the forces of your resistance, Commander. Okay, we still need to make contact with West Asia. Didn't we do that already? No, we, we were. Oh, we were busy making contact. When somebody was, when somebody was, uh, okay, we were busy making contact with West Asia when someone was interrupting us by the aliens were, were retaliating. That's why we had to get back here. There's a supply drop for 100, 175 supplies. Okay, that's sort of on the way. So why don't we pick up the supply drop and then, and then check out the signal and then get back to making contact in West Africa. Um, yeah, because, uh, yeah, because we are going to need more income and uh, yeah, all kinds of things we need to do. So, well, man, th this game is really not taking it easy. There's, there's a lot of things we need to do. So let's pick up the supplies and then check out um, Dr. Shen's encrypted signal thing here. Avenger plotting new course. 
Unless, of course, the aliens are interrupting us again while we're doing this here. But at least I want to get my people uh, my people to sleep a little bit. Uh, okay, hang on. Before I forget it, um, let's go to engineering. And before I what can I do for you, Commander? Uh, we need we need uh, a we need a flashbang. Yes, please build me a flashbang. And uh, I am now completely out of supplies, but that was important. Just so I don't forget. I wish we had a simulator for Bradford to practice on. If he crashes this ship, I might just hand him over to Advent myself. Okay, Central <laughs> seems not to be the best pilot. <laughs> That's a, becoming a little bit of a running gag. Anyway, um, yeah, let, let's get let's get everybody rested up while we're picking up the supplies, and then uh, we are going to head over to that encrypted signal. It is just as I had hoped, Commander. Okay, infirmary construction research complete. Good. Research something else. Uh, Reduce cost of constructing an infirmary by 50%. Okay, good. Commander, the science team has grown particularly interested in this field of research. So much so that their inspiration could lead to vast improvements in our research efficiency. However, we must act fast. Despite their brilliance, they are a fickle group. You keep referring to some science team. Um, it's, it, it's you. You are the science team, right? Dr. Tigan? I think we got one extra scientist picked up somewhere. Okay, it looks like the game doesn't want me to decide what I'm going to research, but um, uh, we have an alien data cache decryption. That gives us intel, which allows us to make contact, which is always useful. So I may as well just get, get it on with. Um, we still have to do the... What else do we have to do? Uh, seven days. Yeah, it does take a while. Um, we have an autopsy to do, hybrid materials, which gives us probably like an armored vest of some sort. Magnetic weapons, 19 days is going to take a long The rest is just uh, autopsies and resistance radio is going to be there probably for us to expand further. So let's do, the de let's do the decryption because it is quick. I agree. That is an important task, Commander. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. And um, how, how long... How long are my are my people still going to be still going to be tired? Three days, eight days, four days, one day, two days. So hopefully we get some people back at least uh, in time to uh, uh, to do whatever needs to be done about uh, that weird signal we've seen. Okay. So three three days supply drop. Let's see if we can get through this without any further interruptions. Uh, okay, debris has been cleared. Rooms available. Uh, we've got 29 supplies out of that. Now we can build the infirmary, uh, which takes 58 supplies. Okay, we do have some supplies. Why do we have more? Oh, because we're picking them up as we go. Right, 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 right. Um, so what does the infirmary do? It decrease, decrease the time when people need to recover from injuries. Um, okay, that sounds useful. Was I going to build that? Or was I going to build something else? Hang on. Um, we're building the resistance ring, which was what they wanted me to do. We're building the guerrilla tactics school, which is almost done. And um, and we are going to need... We can do a resistance comms. Increases the number of regions, so that's the thing we need to do. Oh, but we're also running out of power. Uh, can we build... Can we build power? Oh, they have power relay, actually. Uh, so that gives us three power, okay. But we still have three power available. Uh, we could also try to get the guerrilla tactics school done quicker. Maybe we'll do that first. Um, can I still do that? Can I? Oh, I, I cannot. I thought I could assign a, an engineer to to. Can I not? Oh yeah, here. Um, yeah, we're gonna assign our single engineer to decrease construction time uh, because then we'll get it done in two days, and maybe we can get ourselves another, another, um, another soldier for the next mission. That would be good. Okay, let's do that, and then we're going to continue picking up supplies, and then we'll head over to whatever that, whatever the heck that was. Okay, one day, done. Okay, supply drop collected. Uh, collected all the supplies. Uh, yeah, we're not flying back to the HQ right now. We've collected all the supplies, but we're flying over to the encrypted signal and getting that out of the way. 
because it might well be that the aliens are looking at us through our own cameras and uh, I really don't want that so head over there Avenger plotting new course we do have a decent amount of supplies by now and uh, it's the encrypted signal shouldn't we be done with the room by now I thought we were done with the room um, okay let's start Gorilla okay there we go school now operational uh okay view facility okay um trains rookies a specific class Ooh, that's useful i can use that ha 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 okay that's the first thing we're going to do so uh where's lillian <laughs> you know already what i'm doing right uh lillian um uh, specific class unavailable for combat during the training process yes so I want her obviously I mean I want her to be a grenadier because Lillian obviously makes the big kabooms so begin the training here and can we buy ourselves yes we can s increase the squad size that's what I wanted to purchase okay uh, we need someone rank captain to get more but that's what I was after and that's pretty much all I can and there's a couple of more biggest booms uh, explosive and can inflict critical so this is this is like the uh, officer training school sort of that we had in in the last game okay um, and then let's get the uh, let's get the resistance comms what's new here training center uh, so establish stronger bonds with their fellow soldiers and purchase as additional tactical abilities. that's also useful but I think I want the... Okay, we can also do a laboratory. Um, oh, this is just increasing the chance that a, re that a breakthrough will occur. And we need to staff scientists in the laboratory to... Ooh, this is all extremely useful. Mm. Uh, because I really want to get better research done. And like these 19 days for better weapons, that sounds dreadful. Like this is, a, this is forever. So I, I'm... We don't seem to be getting scientists like we used to in the previous game, where you could literally just get them by or building laboratories or, um, you know, uh, at the end of the month from countries. This doesn't happen. So this is going to be extremely useful, especially the, like, the sooner we get it, the better. So I'm sort of torn between that and the infirmary. I mean, this is also extremely expensive. That's all our supplies, pretty much. Um, and it's they're both increasing the upkeep because we still haven't made contact as income isn't going to be great <sighs> i mean i don't need an infirmary if i don't get my people injured <laughs> but uh, it also talks about um, remove negative traits acquired in combat so obviously we can you know get like permanent debuffs or something <sighs> Uh, sheesh. which one which one infirmary or laboratory okay um, I really want the research boost because better tech is everything in XCOM so far so I think I'm gonna go with the laboratory then we're building a power relay and then the infirmary and we'll just have to hope that we can survive until <laughs> survive this long and um, uh, manage with our current current troops. So we're building a laboratory. Laboratory decided. Is commander, we've pushed our current power systems to the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. Yeah, I get you. I get you. Okay. Um, yes. So you make sure that that thing gets constructed. Um, okay. We have these exposed power coils here. That sounds like a thing we could use to build to build more power like to get to get more power out of because there's as uh, there's, there's three of them so but we do need to dig down quite a bit here so um, commander i'm going to need more help on the engineering team before i can start clearing out some of these other rooms we should recruit an engineer yeah i'd love to uh, where do i how do i do this how do i recruit an engineer um she, she's busy can i can i actually just recruit people how does this work um uh, let me go over to engineering. Maybe, maybe I, f I missed something Hello, and I can Commander. just literally buy them. So I've got view engineers. I've got one. How do I get more? There is no button. Doc uh, Dr. Shen. 
There's no button to recruit anybody. Yeah, I, I don't see anything. Okay, um, nothing I can do here. So uh, let's yeah, let's continue over there. Uh, two more days until whatever encrypted signal this is, uh, and we get done with that. Our people seem to work well together, Commander. Oh, okay. We know where Mox is. Ooh. Um, unlock a mission to... Uh, so this unlocks a mission to rescue Mox. Oh, now we just need to send someone to, uh, to pull off the rescue. Okay. So we've got... Um, the people we've sent have, have gained XP, which is good. <sighs> our friends in the Resistance have helped to pinpoint the location of our missing soldier. Okay. Um... Right, so we have the choice here between two things. We can either rescue Mox, or we can investigate that weird signal. And we also still have to make contact. <sighs> okay, which one is most pressing? Mox is most pressing. Because Mox, uh, the longer they keep him, they, they might kill him, or they might turn him against us, or they might find out that we're trying to unify the resistance groups. He might, hell, he, he might be able to, you know, give them some intel or something. So, um, okay, view the mission. Commander, we've confirmed the position of the soldier being held captive by the Chosen. We now have an opportunity to launch a rescue operation. Okay. We have to rescue him... We have to rescue him from, from the compound. But unfortunately, uh, the assassin is busy in that region. Well, that's obvious, because she was the one who skirmisher napped him. So, yeah, we're doing this one. Um, we're going to go in and try to get Mox out. That is the most, the highest priority, because that gets us Mox, for starters, <laughs> and it prevents them from gaining any intel, whereas with this weird signal, we still don't know and, uh, what's really going on there. Might come and bite me. Might come and bite me, but for now, we're going to do this one. Okay, launch the mission. Setting course for Sector 14, East Asia. Yeah, and uh, we're gonna run into the assassin, huh? Commander, it looks like conditions on the ground are ripe for a quiet operation. If we can get our people into place, they should each have concealed positions to work with. Hang on. I can only bring three people. <sighs> and I just... I, I thought I thought I could bring five now. <laughs> okay, who are we gonna bring? Um, we're gonna bring... Uh, we're gonna bring Elena. That's that's for sure, because she is uh, she is an excellent scout and a sniper if she needs to be. So we're bringing her. Um, I'm not gonna bring uh, Kasumi, but we are uh, we can bring Lauren because Lauren is a specialist, uh, and I'm not sure if she was was she medic or was she a hacker. Uh, but she's caught Stitch now, so she's probably a medic. <laughs> And can I sort of see uh, what her abilities were? Um, what was it? Uh, no, she's 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 on the hackers actually. Okay, so she's a hacker. So that sounds useful. Okay, so we're bringing her, um, and we need to bring so so we've got we've got a sniper slash recon and a hacker. And it sounds like we're going to be doing this on the quiet. So. Um, we probably don't want to bring the Grenadiers. Uh, um, these are all rookies. Yeah, this is not really going to help us. Uh, uh, I mean, Jane is, is tired, and our only other ranger is Kasumi. So we may actually have to end up bringing Kasumi, but then she'd be tired as well. We could bring Frida as a second, uh, or Greta, uh, Greta, sorry, as a second sniper, but that means I really don't have any any close range people. Okay, we, we are up against, no, hang on, we're up against the assassin. I think I actually do want a grenadier if I have one, um, because Julie is, is, is injured. Do I have another grenadier? Yes, I do. So Monique could come along. She's grenadier. Uh, because I am going to have to hit her with explosives, I guess, in order to... If I know where she is, and I can hit her with explosives. It'd be nice to have a ranger for close-range combat, I guess. Ah, 
but it'd also be nice to have a grenadier. Uh, shall I not bring a specialist? But hacking is going to be really useful if I have to if I have to break into a prison or something. Okay, specialist is coming. Elena is coming as a scout, and we bring Monique in case we need to get loud. Okay, and uh, one of you gets the. Um, can I give Grenada, uh, can, can I give Elena the uh, the flashback? Um, no, because she's got like special weapon things or something. Uh, I could give Monique uh, Monique the flashbang, or no, I think I'm going to give I'm going to give you the flashbang. Where is it? There it is. How how do I do this again? No, tap tap. Yes, double tap. Okay, so you get the flashbang, and um, that means we've got no heals. We've got no medics, no med kits. Uh, <laughs> Elena can't carry the medkit, can she? Um, do I make things available? No. This is this is a this is a, this is a specialized loadout. Flashbang or medkit? Um, <laughs> um, so she could. Oh, she can't even carry the medkit either. Okay. Um, not sure why. Maybe because she's a grenadier. So could she carry them? No. Who, who's got the medkit? Oh, there we go. So Kazumi's got the medkit currently. So I bring a flashbang or I bring a medkit. Um, flashbang sounds more useful, but I, can I not? Oh, okay, okay, she can. So um, I can. She's got two grenades. Is this what she's launching with her? No, it's not, right? These are frag grenades. So um, she can bring the medkit and then one frag grenade as utility. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good idea. Okay, we'll do it like that. Okay, and I think that's our squad, so let's go in and get Mox out of there. Yeah, I do hope I'm not messing this up, but... <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's a blind playthrough, it's my very first time playing this game, so um, you don't have to live with it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just in case, uh, for, for people who are new to this series, uh, I am not reloading, so if I mess things up, I mess things up. And um, it, it would beca it'll become part of the story. We've confirmed that the soldier taken captive during our previous operation is being held within a high security advent facility not far from your position. If we try to take them back by force, it won't be long before we're totally outnumbered by enemy reinforcements. Our best bet is to go in quietly, drawing as little attention as possible. Yep, that's why we brought a grenadier. <laughs> That's 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 my contingency when it inevitably goes wrong, and we need to go loud. So okay. Operation Falling Days is a go. Launch the mission. How bad could it get, right? I'm sure we can pull this off. <laughs> Should have brought the ranger, shouldn't I? Well, we'll find out. latest intel has our operative being held in the main structure just ahead. We have the advantage of stealth here, so we should try to get in and out as quietly as possible. If the enemy spots us, this is going to get a whole lot harder. Okay, um, which means Elena is in shadow, so she's going to take point. We do need to get into the compound. It's a prison break. So... Um, She's in, she's in shadow, so she can't easily be spotted. Uh, security level one, enemy at ease. Okay, so we're gonna... This is this is gonna be a sneaky mission, so we're gonna have to sneak in and out of this. Okay, so let's move her there. I go where you tell me. Get her to actually get the... An alien patrol. Okay. But she is in shadow. I wonder if, if Elena can almost do this by herself, and we just need the rest of them for backup. Because there's no way we can quietly kill these guys, right? Um, because... Okay, that's a fence. Do we trigger if we go through the fence? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna just move her up to the fence. Uh, because she is in shadow. What is that skill that she has here? Uh, remote start. Oh, she can blow something up. Yes, she, ga she gained that skill. Okay. Um... She's in shadow, so she's not going to be detected if she goes down there. 
So we'll just move her up here. Volk says I am to obey. And take a very good look at things. Okay, Monique bringing the heavy weapons around because, of course, we are. So uh, she she's she's going to be much easier to spot, but Elena is difficult to spot. So she he shouldn't be able to spot Elena there. Um, we will just move Monique up. Here. Uh, this, this might not be a bad spot. Okay, let's move her down here. Je confirme la position. Okay. And Lauren. Lauren needs to hack things if necessary. Um, she does have the combat protocol. I can't remember how many how much damage that was doing, but it might be possible to one-shot things with that. I'm not sure. Uh, but for now, we'll just need to get her into cover somewhere down below. So this should do nicely. Got it. Moving. Because she's got the gremlin drone in case she needs to, to do anything. Okay. Oh, he's patrolling, actually. Also, Elena needs to be real careful here. Okay. We have Firebrand on standby for evac, Commander, but as soon as she gets in range, the whole compound will go on high alert. We should hold back unless we have the target or it's an absolute emergency. Yeah, don't worry, we're not going loud. Don't worry, Central. Um, Elena needs to sort of work her way around and get in there. I should have brought a sniper. Uh, he could have stood, could have been standing back and uh, giving fire support to Elena, if necessary, from long range. Uh, anyway, so uh, let's get her. Where do we need to go? Uh, this this way ish. Okay, this guy's in the way, but um, he's patrolling that direction. So let's get Elena, and that would alert him, right? Yeah, I don't want him to want her to go this way. Uh, let's just walk around this way. So, scout out the area. As you order, Commander. Okay. Still just the one. And she is in shadow, so... Uh, you should be able to just move. Okay, well, let's get everybody else into the right positions. Now, he is... These guys are not in shadow, so if he's coming... He, they can't be next to the fence, because they will be they will be spotted so i think i feel like i'm just gonna leave them here pretty much and get elena to scout out where we which let's get elena around and scout where we're going so monique um now here's a question if i'm going to put her on overwatch is she going to shoot at the guard because that's not what i want i want to be quiet um and i also don't know if the guard's coming around outside here so do we have a better position for for her to go to uh, okay, she, so she can move. She can move over here. Orders confirmed. Moving out. And I think I'm just gonna leave them there in these positions and get Elena to um, get Elena to move. Try and move in, and see if she can. I mean, she should be able to get through here, breach the compound, and see if she can actually get him out. Well, let's find out. Uh, that's a position she could be in. Yeah, let's go here and see what's what we're up against. Moving as ordered. Stay clear of those turrets. We're still not entirely sure if they're fully automated or remotely triggered. Okay, hang on. What do we got? So we've got the guard patrolling up front. Um, we've got... I'm not sure why this area here gets us detected. But um, we've got turrets, obviously. Okay, so these things are trouble. What are those yellow dots next to the health bar? Armor? Maybe? Don't know. And we've got another guard standing there, so he might be patrolling. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to end the turn here. Okay, so just, just observe their patrol patterns. Okay, so he's going that way. Um, so we know that we're clear here, so I am thinking of getting Lauren a little bit closer. Um, where could she, could I move her? I could move her here. No, that would be, why would that be exposed? Oh, because of that guy over there. Uh, and that would be exposed because of the guard, but he's not going to see us, right? Um, 
that could that could be a decent position but it's too close to the wall because he might see her on the way back because they are more visible than than elena so his his, his detection radius goes across the walls no so she would have to move all the way up here um but it shouldn't trigger them because we are in we are in concealment uh, I don't know if there's... No, there's no second guard. So I, I would have a chance here, while he's over on patrol over there, to sneak at least her past. Uh, in case we need to hack something, is what I'm thinking. Um, okay, we can sneak... We can get her here, in this position. And from there, then she can follow, follow Elena. Or she can take, like, a, um, a higher up position. I don't want to spread the squad out too much, because I don't know where the evac point's going to be. Or if I'm going to be the one um, setting the evac. So let's move her up here. Go, go, go! Because, because going through the fence is not triggering them. Okay. Um, Elena is here. Uh, I don't know where this guy is going to patrol, so I'm going to have to be careful. How far are we away? Uh, okay, he's over here. We're, we're getting a little off track here. But I do want to. I do want to go around the outside. Um, this is. She could go here. Uh, no, that's. I don't want her to run this way. Just this way. <laughs> and then she can go kind of around here. I don't know how many more guards we have. Uh, these are all buildings, so that would be a bad idea. Um, alternatively, we can try to go around this side of it. I guess. In case they don't have any more guards here. I don't know. We'll have to see if he's patrolling. But this is more the direction we need to go. Yeah, okay. So, uh, Elena can go here. That's not going to trigger anything, right? Yeah, that's not going to trigger anything. And unless she walks right into the turret, that shouldn't be a problem. Um, yeah, walk in there. I'm on the move. Okay. Oh, there's another turret. Okay. So, we don't know where the guard is going, but they're not walking particularly quickly. We know that there's another turret, but she can easily stay out of out of detection of these guys, literally just by being next to the car. <sighs> or this might not be a terrible position, just in case the guard is coming straight this way, or there's another guard that we can't see yet. So, um, uh, I think I'm just going to leave her here for now. Um, Monique. Monique, you start making your way over this way. And then we're just going to stay here. Because obviously I can't pull her through, but next turn she can she can follow. So, okay, we'll just stay where we are. End the turn. Okay, that guard is coming back on his patrol route, so she, I'm not sure if she can get through without being spotted. Uh, we'll have to check. Okay. Um, I am thinking... Okay, two turrets, one guard. The guards are easy. The turrets look relatively... look, look a bit more difficult. But uh, they do have overlapping arcs. We definitely can't get... Um, can't get our XCOM troops through, but Elena can probably get through this. And it doesn't look like the other guard is patrolling. He seems to just be staying there. So I might be able to get Elena around that side between the turrets and through. Which means I'm going to have to get everybody else sort of set up somewhere where they can be useful. Um, can I get you topside? Maybe. I could get her topside here where she has an elevated position, firing position if things become necessary. Yeah, I'll move you up top here. Moving on target location. And then, yeah, we've got lots of things to shoot at. What is that, by the way? Oh, it's an explosive thing, I think. Okay. Um, Monique, can I get Monique through here without her being spotted? Um, yes, I can. And I think she should be safe from the guard in this position. Because he's going to patrol here, and he shouldn't be able to see her there. Because if she stays there, she should be okay. Um, that might work, or I could just leave her here and take out this guard in case we need to cover our retreat, such that we don't have anybody behind us. 
I think I might just leave her there for now. Uh, Elena can, because of her Reaper ability, definitely get in between the turrets. So I'm going to move her here. That doesn't trigger anybody, right? Yeah, it doesn't trigger anyone. And see if I, she can, I can get her through in this turn, depending on if there's anything else working I'm at your there. service. Okay. And nothing spotted. Now, if this guy starts moving, he might see her. So it might be a, not a terrible idea to just get her... Just get her... What is this here? Okay, there's a window. How do we get in there without making a sound? Is that door open? Look, okay, there's definitely a cell of some description in there. Okay, Elena needs to scout and see if we actually need to hack. If we do, then we need to walk the, the long way around. But for now, I'm just going to get her next to that window such that she can take a look and see what's inside this room. Oh, actually, this is maybe here. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything in this room because, I mean, she should have vision for now then if there are any more guards. Um, maybe here? Just in case there's another guard so she can not run past the window, if you know what I mean. Because she doesn't obviously have fire protection from there because we are uh, too far stretched, but... Um, I don't also know where the evac point is. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming we can't evac from the center of the facility, but we might have to get Mox out of there somehow. So um, let's move her here. Volk says I am to obey. Okay. And uh, have we spotted anything? Okay, there seem to be no further guards in here. Um, there's Mox, and by the looks of it, he's uh, sedated, asleep, down. Not sure, but I'm pretty sure once we open that door, they will know that we're here. And so I don't want us to get separated too much. I can't get through here without triggering the turrets. I could get around the long side. Um, so if that's if, if this is our escape route, pretty much. Uh, so if we, we get Mox out from here, we go around the street here. Uh, we should be able to pass by, pass by the turret without being spotted. And then, in that case, I'm actually going to get Monique set up here, such that she's in a position to take shots um, if it becomes necessary. Especially if the assassin shows up. Um, and then she can she can cover our retreat from here. Perfect. And Lauren is going to stay here for now, until we've determined if we need to hack something or not, and if Elena is capable of doing it herself, because she is the stealthiest of all of us. So. Let's see what happens. Okay, he keeps, keeps he just keeps on patrolling. And the other guard doesn't seem to be patrolling, which is good. Yeah, he seems to be staying where he is. Okay. Now, um, Elena. This is, is this an open door? I can't see. Yes, it is. Uh, do I just want to run in there? I mean, I've looked through the window, right? There shouldn't be anyone in there. Um, can we get him out from the back wall somehow? Uh, I mean, he's in a cell here. I don't know if I have to carry him or if he's, he's going to be able to fight his way out with us. Um, I'm going to move here first, just to get a better view of the of the, the building, because I really can't believe that they have That's no guards around the cells here. Uh, yeah, they don't. Okay. So that's a door. Obviously, if we touch that door, it's a cell, it's, we're going to make a hell of a lot of noise. Um, okay. We're going to need a hacker, right? <laughs> I'm going to have to start moving her already. Okay, I'm going to move Elena in place just to scout it out for now. Okay, Elena, move there. She is concealed. And uh, Lauren... I think I'm going to start, given that there's no patrol down here, there are just the two turrets, and he's he's on patrol... Where was he? Where's the other guy? Where's the other guard? Uh, Monique, do you have eyes on him? Where'd he go? Oh, crap. Uh, we've lost contact with the other guard. He was somewhere here. Uh, this is not good. Um... That's not good at all. He was walking this way last time we saw him. Okay, uh, Monique, see if you can get eyes on him. Okay, there he is. Okay, so he's over there. 
Uh, just making sure that I'm not running into him. And then Lauren. Lauren should be able to just get through here and go and walk around on the on the far side. So I'm going to get her down here. Moving to designated position. Okay. And uh, I'm going to move her up here because he, he she should be or maybe over here. She should be definitely out of uh, out of patrol range of that one guard there. So, so we'll move her over there. Confirmed. Okay. And Monique, you can stay and just keep an eye on that guard and make sure that he's not doing anything strange. Okay, he's patrolling still in that direction. Is he going to turn around? He might be able to guess, get out without shooting anybody here. Okay. Now comes the big question. Elena, um, can she open the door? Uh, is that going to trigger if she's going to open the door? Uh, no, she has to hack. Uh, what's her hacking skill? Can I see that somehow? Um, she's got a hacking skill of 10. And uh, Lauren has got a hacking skill of 60. Yeah, Lauren, you're going to have to come around and do this. Okay, so Lauren needs to sneak around the outside. Uh, sneak around the outside and then get that hacked. Okay. Um, so here first and then just along the fence because she needs to stay outside the spotting circle of that that turret over there this should be safe move there good copy moving on target and can she get yes she can get there without triggering the turret okay uh, move there understood moving out okay elena stay where you are and Monique, keep an eye on the guard. Just keep eyes on the guard so we know where he is. Because the other guard seems to not be patrolling. And the turrets obviously are staying where they are. Okay. He should be at the end of his range there. And then he should be turning around, I guess. And see what he's doing. Okay. He's still walking that way. Okay. Um, but Stitch should be safe now to... Why am I not seeing the turrets anymore? I have eyes on the turrets. Mm, I think she should be safe to move here. Uh, I can't remember how far the turrets went. Um, okay, she can't jump over whatever that is, so she just have to go. Has to go around. I can. I, I can send her around the outside. Okay, we'll send her around the outside. Uh, just I don't want to risk running into the turret by accident. Okay. Roger that. Get out there. And then. Uh, make your way over here and then next turn you can this this was clear now you can actually go uh, okay now we've got eyes on the turret I think I would have been okay but <laughs> I didn't want to risk it okay no there's no guards or anything here right on this edge of it so um, move her over there Order's confirmed. On the move. this is very different um, I like this this is a very different different set okay so, so since you're not going to hack um, I'm already going to get you into a position to cover our retreat because uh, you're going to have to shoot people. So I'm going to move you back here. I go where you tell me. And that way I can keep eyes on uh, on things. Is there any way she can get up topside? Um, no, not really by the looks of it. So uh, I can I can. I don't have eyes on the... No, I don't know what the range of these turrets is at this point. So I'm just going to get her into that, back into that position. Moving as ordered. So she can keep eyes on the turret. Okay, the guard is over that way. Um, so Monique, you just keep... You, you just stay there. You just keep an eye out on things. But he should come back. Unless he's... Yeah, he's... So he's patrolling just around this... Uh, just along this line here. So that's fine. And... Okay, uh, Lauren, she can hack from here. What, she, what can she hack? Oh, she can hack the door. You can remote hack with a gremlin. Oh, that's amazing. Um, that means I, okay, change of plan. Uh, Elena needs to get back in there and needs to, uh, we're going to move her in here and needs to pick up Mox next turn. 
because I don't know if he can walk or not. He might be injured, he might be uh, unconscious, we don't know. He might be drugged. So she um, she might she might she might need to carry him. Okay. So we're going to get get her back service. in there. I did not I didn't know that she could do this remotely. So um, uh, yeah, yeah, just 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 get in front of it. I mean, it doesn't matter. As you order, commander. Okay. Which means, okay, so next turn, if we remote hack this, uh, they may they might be alerted. So I am going to start. Uh, we know where the guard is. We know where he's patrolling. So do I have another position here for Munich? Okay, I'm going to start pulling Munich back. Um, this is not ideal. Actually, she can stay there, honestly. So if we if we are alerting with the remote hack, then she can take out the guard from here. And then just cover our retreat. I, I'm assuming that we need to retreat, otherwise I'm going to have to start running. <laughs> I could get her a bit closer, because the guard is currently over there. So I could... Where are the turrets? Okay, we don't know again where the turrets are, but I'm pretty sure this position was safe. Um, I could get her set up a little bit closer. I think I'm just going to leave her there for now. Uh, just in case um, we need to blow... If we need... She'd be useful to blow up the turrets if the turrets are reacting, right? Okay, how about this position? The guard's still over that way. Let's pull her forward to this position. This should be safe from, from the turrets. And in, she'll be in range of both the guards and the turrets in case. Okay, let's do that. Fortunately, their fences don't seem to be causing a signal when we're going through them. Okay, and you just stay there because you can remote hack that next turn. Okay. That means the guard is patrolling back. Okay, do we have everybody in position? Elena is going to carry Mox if necessary. Um, Lauren is going to hack. And Monique is ready. She does have a, she does have a shot at the turret, not at the guard. But uh, that should be okay, just in case the turrets are waking up and she needs to provide uh, explosive fire support for us to get through here. Okay, uh, let's do this. So, uh, Lauren, hack that thing. Uh, remote hack. Infiltrating their system. Yep, infiltrate away. Okay. Um, we have... We can get, we can, uh, oh, bypass, unlock this door without triggering security protocols. Yes, that is perfect. That's what I want. Um, recover a mission lead on an alien facility. Uh, no, I, I definitely want this one. <laughs> because that means we don't have to blast our um, our way out, I think. So, uh, so sh this is a 92% sh chance that um, we tr we're not triggering a security protocol. Okay, try that. Okay. Perfect. So we've bypassed the door lock. Perfect. Gremlin has done his job. The door is open. Okay. Uh, which means that Elena can now open the door without triggering the alarm. The VIP is secure. Evac in progress. Okay, and she needs to pick him up, I guess. Who does she have eyes on? Uh, oh, it's the guard over... It's the trooper over there. Okay. I mean, it's just two guards here by the looks of it, but they might be sending reinforcements. So, um... She needs to... Yeah, Mox seems to be down. So she needs to get in there and pick him up, right? Is that how this works? Okay. Um, I'm not sure on which tile he is. Uh, let's, let's go there. This looks like it. So let's go there. I go where you tell me. And yeah, pick up, uh, pick up Mox. I hope it's not far. <laughs> She's strong. <laughs> you ghosted our position. Oh, okay, that's a problem. So now, okay, uh, wh why was she spotted? Because she picked him up. Okay, they're on guard now. Oh crap. Uh, well, um, can we just evac from here? How does this work? Uh, okay, now I'm, I'm not sure how this works. So can Elena just evac? Um, oh, we have to place it. 
Okay, okay, I didn't know that. I would have pulled everybody up if I knew that. Okay, so this is a problem. Um, okay, All right. So I haven't done this quite quite as, as correctly as I should have done. Because we could have literally just put, ev brought everybody in and then evac'd out outside the building without triggering anything. Uh, okay, well, you live and learn. So, uh, Monique, uh, what's the detection range of these things? Um, I don't know, but Monique needs to get... We know that she, this outside line is safe, and we know that the guard is over that way. So that means I'm going to get her to move over here. And then get her to move around the outside of the fence on that side. Okay. Um, uh, we can we can get into we can get into conceal. Ooh, yes, let's do that. In the shadows. So she's back concealed. Uh, did, did, oh, she could have done that as well. Okay, I didn't know that. And she can't because she's carrying mocks. So she needs to go. Um, where's that other guard? He was standing outside that main entrance room, didn't he? So she needs to get out of here. Okay, so I'm going to move her here just to get out of there. As you order, Commander. Okay, bring mocks out there. Did that get you spotted? I hope not. Okay, yes, he spotted her. Dang it! Alright, guess we're going loud. Um, uh, yeah, security level 3. Um, uh, okay, we just need two turns for Monique to get here. And um, Now... Yeah, we're no longer in concealment, yeah, because she had to carry him out of there, and that, the only way to do that wasn't possible without alerting the guard over there. All right, then. Um, can she... Can she... Um, okay, that's combat protocol. Can she do something about these... I mean, turrets are mechanical, right? Or electronic. Can she hack those things? I mean, she's only got one action left, so I am actually think I'm going to leave her in Overwatch, just in case anybody opens up. Uh, yeah, we'll leave for an overwatch. Okay, once he's going in, where's he going? Oh, he's firing at Elena. Okay, so he we were definitely spotted. Under heavy fire here. Uh, oh, that that was bad. Yeah, the turrets are now seeing us as well. We're picking up increased comm chatter in the compound. They've noticed something is up. Yeah, no, no. We haven't lost the advantage yet, though. Try to avoid engaging their forces if possible. I know. The problem is they are bloody well engaging us, and these turrets are hurting. So Monique's been injured. Um, so we're gonna, we're just gonna have to run her here. Okay. Which gets her back in cover. Uh, we're gonna call Evac. We're gonna call evac down. The problem is this turret there. Now this turret is going to, it's, it's got, it's got shots at. Well, it, it had shots at Monique. It probably still has. So we probably want to call evac down, somewhere where we can, uh, we can do something. Now, she can't shoot him, and she can only, she can't do something about the. Can I flashbang the turret? <laughs> And that'll include the soldier as well. Where's the end? Where's the uh, the guard? The guards over there. I don't know if turrets are susceptible to flashbang, but at least the guard is going to be. Um, disorient all hostile targets in the affected area. That sounds good. Let's do that. Light them up. Okay. They've got eyes on me. Yeah, I know that she, that they do. Okay, and we're going to call evac. On um, on Elena's position because I'm not sure if Elena can move or we can call it here. Uh, this might be a better position because then Monique can actually get in here because Monique's already injured. All right, call the Sky Ranger down here. We must go now. Firebrand is in position and the compound is on full yep. alert. Time to move. And then we're going to get Elena out of here instantly so we'll just move move her here together with mox i go where you tell me 
and get her to evac. Uh, yeah. Then I get out of there. We're on our way out. And next turn we can get the other two. Now we just have to deal with the return fire. And hopefully nobody gets injured from that. Because we did throw our flashbang. He's disorientated. Turret is still shooting. And he missed. Good, good. And a turret's going on Overwatch. Oh crap! Looks like they called in some friends. The compound has reached maximum <sighs> alert status. They put out a distress signal, and we're already picking up multiple inbound transports. Okay. Um, can I do something about this? The problem is this turret. The turret has gone on Overwatch. If she moves, if she moves, uh, she's in big trouble. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to get Lauren, I'm going to get Lauren to, I can get, Lauren isn't within the range of the turret, so I can get her in here and use her 8 protocol, which gives defense, plus 20 defense, so hopefully she will be able to get in there without the turret hitting her. Just keep her head down, right? just keep your head down, okay. We're gonna we're gonna move move her in here. A protocol then evac. Uh, so move there. All right, I'll go. Um, a protocol. Well, not on yourself. No, on. Oh, what? Did did she do that on herself? I thought she could do that on someone else. Okay, she can still go into conceal. So did you do that, and then hopefully the turret can't hit her. Okay. Evac Lauren, that 8 protocol home. thing didn't work as I wanted it to. Uh, I, I hope I'm not triggering people again. Okay, so she's out. The Gremlin 2. And she should be hopefully fine. We, we, there's only one way to find out. So you move... Um, move here, along the ridge line. So maybe she's not getting... Uh, uh, she needs to get into the evac zone, so either way she's going to get shot at if this works. Anyway, let's try it out, or we might lose another soldier. No, she's still concealed. Okay. Evac. Evac. And let's get out of here. Okay, this would have been a hell of a lot easier. Operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Everything by the numbers. Mission accomplished. I suppose after having allowed them to be captured... The least you could do is mount a rescue attempt. Yeah, yeah, we snatched him from under your nose. This would have been a hell of a lot easier if I had known that um, that I could call the uh, the evac zone wherever. I mean, I'm pretty sure the game told me that, but <laughs> I'm still sort of used to the XCOM enemy within way of things happening, where the evac zone is pretty much where you're starting and you've got to get back to that area. So that was where my thought process was this whole time. I'm gonna have to keep to to. I'm gonna have to remember that uh, here I can actually place the evac zones where I want to. So it would have been a hell of a lot easier. I might have been able to do this without getting Monique injured, but at least she survived, so that's good. Um, and yeah, there, there goes my. Uh, would have been good to have an infirmary at this point, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh well. Today's ambush on valiant Advent forces by the radical group XCOM did lead to the escape of several dangerous fugitives. Peacekeepers will be conducting door-to-door -door searches of all residences for your continued safety. Yeah, 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 yeah. Multiple dangerous fugitives. Now we've just gotten Mox back. Okay, at least we do have Mox back. Could have gone better, could have gone worse. It wasn't easy, but Mox has been safely returned, Commander. He's eager to get back into the fight. Okay, Lauren has a bond available. I don't know what that is. Um, okay, what is that? Commander, each of our soldiers has a unique relationship with their squad mates. As they complete combat missions together, their compatibility will grow and can eventually develop into a lasting bond. Oh, is there a romance option in this game? Or am I misunderstanding this? <laughs> Allow their friendship to develop into strong bonds with tactical benefits. Oh, okay. So if I, 
Right, so if I bring two soldiers in things together, then um, then things are, th then they're capable of doing pretty good things together. Okay, so who's she available? Uh, okay, so she's available for Elena. Um, as her best buddy, pretty much. So Lauren and Elena could be best buddies. Now, Elena is a scout. I'm... Okay. So scout and hacker. Um, might be a decent combo if I have to do these sort of missions again. So if they could kind of work in tandem, uh, like any kind of breach or rescue mission might not be a terrible combination, to be honest. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Okay, so how do I do this? Um, yeah? Okay, I don't know how to do this. Can I select something? I cannot. Okay. Anyway. But why are you telling me then? Okay, maybe I have to do that somewhere else. I am glad to return to your service, Commander. I will not forget what you and your soldiers have done for me. Okay, we've got mocks back. Well, that's that's good news. Efficiently executed and no casualties. You can lead the Reapers any day, Commander. Well done. Uh, okay. Um, I'm not sure why you're so happy about us rescuing Mox, because you didn't like Mox at all in the beginning, but, um, well... Commander, having these two soldiers continue to work together has paid off. They know each other well enough at this point that we can have them train as a pair for additional tactical capabilities. And here's a classy number, courtesy of our XCOM forces in the field. I never get tired of hearing that. Okay, resistance radio is still smoking interesting weeds. And here's the thing, okay, so... Um, okay, we need the training center to improve that. And she gets an additional action... She grants an additional action point to a bondmate. Has a single charge shared between bondmates. Okay, that's useful. Uh, I'm gonna go with this. The Reapers have no interest in leading the world into a new age. Not under my watch, anyway. The aliens took everything from humanity, and we aim to take it back. It's that simple. What people choose to do with their lives beyond that point is up to them. Okay, yes. Thank you for that completely unnecessary piece of information, Mr. Volk. Um, yeah, okay, we're doing this because I think uh, having a ha hacker and Elena together might actually be like a really interesting combo. And uh, this apparently works for others as well. So yeah, these two are now best friends. We'll do it. Uh, sure, make a poster of it. Uh, oh god, so I do have to do this again? Ah, it's the Instagram stuff. I forgot about it. Um, what? What? Uh, randomize? Ew, no. Randomize? Uh, Sisters of Doom? <laughs> What's with that weird position? Like, from below? Really? What the heck? Randomize. Uh, no. 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 That's terrible. It's dreadful. No. <laughs> that's sort of cute, but... Um, they're all out of bubblegum. <laughs> Alright, that counts. I'll, I'll take it if just for that. Take photo. With a mug like that, you might get Advent to surrender after all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, perfect. It's not quite the two of them. Low supplies. Yes, I know. Sell items on the black market. Um, okay, more regions, many missions. Yes, yes, I know, I know, I know. Okay, okay, okay. So that's the thing. And there's a yellow thing that the game wants me to look at. But And yeah, we're out of power. And um, yeah, I... Oh, that's the thing. Okay. Um, anyway, I think that's enough for today. <laughs> we still have the weird signal to track down, and we still have to expand our our our. Um, we still have to expand our area, such that we can get some more supply drops. And uh, yeah, all all these things we still have to do. At least we didn't run into the assassin. Anyway, uh, after that, very very different mission. I'd say that's it for today. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.